Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be an update on a previous video, not so much an update as an improvement or a new process for a previous video that I had filmed on how to find blank bulk file bids. Um, so the very next video, I'm going to be going through how you can write your own bid formulas. Um, it will be a bit technical, but I will walk you through it step by step. The only thing is um, that formula and things we're going to do will require you to know what the bid is if you're going to adjust it. So one of the issues that comes along with working um, in bulk files is only for the sponsored products. I'm not exactly sure why it's only for sponsored products and this issue doesn't occur in sponsored brands, but what can happen is if you go to a bulk file and you go through these sponsored products campaigns inside this max bid column. Now, if you don't know what these columns are, if you don't know what these rows are, I do have two videos that I will link down below. One of them is how to set up a bulk file. So we go through step by step and I go through a lot of what these columns uh, names are. So that will be a good way to familiarize yourself with kind of the structure of all this. And then I do have another video on how to adjust bids inside of bulk files. I do not go through formulas. I do not go through um, what you might like, how you might want to go about adjusting the bids. I just go through the process of how you do that. Watching those two videos will give you some really good foundations on the structure of bulk files and what like all these columns and rows mean. So if you don't like understand what we're looking at right now, go back, watch those videos, come back here. So one of the things that can happen is on some of these keyword uh, rows in the max bid column, you will find a blank. This is an issue because how in the world are we supposed to change our bids if we don't know what the bids actually are? And so I did have a previous video going through a formula that I wrote that will help you find these blank values. Um, that formula that I shared in the video only works in Google Sheets. It does not work in Excel. So that is an issue. And then the other issue is it works off um, a filter formula, which is an array formula, or I think it has a... Uh, index and match array, something like that. Uh, the issue with array formulas is they can be very tedious. They can bog down sheets. Someone did rewrite the formula to work in Excel, but again, it's an array formula. It's, uh, anyways, it's not the best way to do it. So I've written out another process that involves, it's a two-step, it's very quick, and you should be able to just copy and paste this. So I am going to also link to um, this particular spreadsheet right here and you can go through and you can copy the formula. So in these two highlighted columns here, there is a formula. And these are the formulas we're going to do step by step. All right, so let's dive in. I'm going to my example bulk sheet right here. This is a bulk sheet that simply has like the campaign names and things changed. It's actual data. It's an actual bulk file, just doesn't claim, contain client stuff, all right? So I need you to follow exactly step by step what I'm doing. You will need to create the columns in exactly where I create the columns. You need to empty the formula exactly how I enter the formula, providing you follow this step by step. It will work and you should be able to quickly find your blank bid values. All right, let's dive into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your bulk file and you want to go to the sponsored products campaigns tab. Get sponsor products, the only one that it has this issue with. I don't know why they haven't fixed it, Amazon, please, but in the meantime, you should be able to use this process. All right. So you're going to want to click on this column here. And the other note is I'm using Google Sheets for this particular process. However, you can use this formula inside of Excel. So it shouldn't be a problem. So what you're going to do is right click and you're going to insert one left. If you're in Excel, you don't have to say insert left. If you click, it automatically inserts the column to the left of whatever column you have highlighted. All right. So the first formula we need to enter. So go in here and under this highlighted helper column one, that's what we're going to need to enter. So you're simply going to copy this and you're going to want to go to cell A2. So this is going to be in your new column, the second row down, and then you're just going to click enter. 
And then all you're going to do is you are going to drag this formula all the way down your bulk file. There are a couple ways to do this. One, this nice little handy click button, you can do that double click on it and it should drag it all the way down the other option actually is, is if you highlight this particular cell right here hold shift control down on the keyboard and just make sure it's highlighted all the way to the bottom of whatever your data set is you can actually hit control d on your keyboard this is a shortcut for google sheets as well as excel and what this does is it will drag whatever formula down so if you're having like issues with formula formulas not dragging down you're double clicking and you have a lot of rows and you don't want to like manually drag the stupid formula all the way down the list use that control um, highlight everything you want to drag down make sure the first cell that you are selecting contains the formula Control D, that's gonna drag everything down. All right, so we created our first column and now what we need to do is we gotta go back and we got to, we need to create another column. This is going to be where our max bids are going to show up and then uh, it will be column M. So what we're gonna do is we need to make sure this column M is a new one. So we're gonna click on column M, which is our keyword of target targeting, highlight it again and click insert left. So this is gonna create a new column and this column needs to be column M because you need to make sure that the everything's exactly as I'm doing it. So once that is done, we are going to go back to our column M right here. And if you click under here, there's actually a formula contained within this highlighted column M. So I'm going to highlight this entire formula right here. And I am going to double click in here and I'm going to hit um, paste. So I'm just going to control C it, control V it, enter and paste it. And the first cell should be blank. And don't freak out. That's what's supposed to happen. And so all you need to do is you need to double click this one right here and it should drag this formula all the way down your data set. Um, and then anywhere, anytime there's a max bid, this will show up. So you should see a bit highlighted here. And then if there is something that should be here that is not, this formula is going to enter that in. So um, the other thing you do want to check is make sure that this formula is copied all the way down the sheet. So the easiest way to do that, if you hold shift control down arrow on your keyboard, that is a shortcut that will bring you to the end of the data set or if the column is empty, it will bring you to the very bottom of like the end of the columns and rows. If you just want to go to the bottom, you just hit control. So I'm just going to hit control down on my keyboard. And what it does is it's going to um, bring me to the end of whatever formula. For instance, if I had accidentally copied it only down to there and I wasn't at the end, if I hit control down on my keyboard, notice how this only goes to here and it doesn't go to the actual end of the data. And so that's how you can just check um, to see where the formula is copied down to just make sure it's all the way down to the bottom of the sheet. Another good thing to check is to make sure that this formula is actually working. So the other thing we want to check is to see if these are entered correctly. So if a cell is blank, if one of the things that's supposed to be showing you um, the bid in the max bid column, like here, notice these, um, what is it, three that are not entered um, this these cells are blank, so this is where they should be, and they're not. And then this is what the formula um, discovered. Okay, these ones, you know, this should be a dollar. The dollar should be entered here. And so where these bids are coming from is this right here. Um, this is the ad group row, and this is your default bid at your ad group. So why these aren't showing up is because these bids were entered at a default and was never changed from whatever the default is. And so how this formula works is it's saying, all right, so this is blank. We should have something here. Let's go check what the default bid is. And then we're just going to enter it on that row. So it's easy for us to see. And then next steps is going to be copying over all of this blank stuff. So what is a good idea to do just to make sure you enter this formula correctly? Because if you get the row wrong or you put it somewhere it's not supposed to be or the columns aren't quite lined up, this formula is not going to work. In that case, what you could do is you could pretty much just like reset, you know, go back, say, all right, undo everything I did. Let's start over. Let's try it again. Um, but how you would check it is you would go, okay, so here's some blank columns that should be there. 
and here are some bids. What is the ad group row? So right here, here's my ad group right above it. It says a dollar. All right, so we know that a dollar is what's supposed to be entered in these rows and it looks like the formula got it right, here's a dollar. Same thing here, it looks like this is 75 cents. So all these blank ones are 75 cents. Let's go up to the ad group row and you can see that under record type. If you watched the previous videos, you understand like what the rows and how you would find the record type and um, that this is the ad group row. So that's what I'm referring to. Looks like this is 75 cents and that's what's entered here. So it looks like the formula got it right. So we did sub right. Now let's go through and let's copy this over. So now that you know everything's correct, what you would want to do is you want to put max bid here. I'm going to put max bid here and I'm going to um, excuse me, highlight this entire column. And this column um, is the one that contains the formulas. So what we have to do is basically have to copy all of this and we got to paste it into this row right here. All right, so I hit control C. I'm going to copy this entire thing, depending on how many rows and how, you know, how much data is contained in your column, the copy and paste could take a second. And uh, other thing is once something's actually copied, you should see like a, a dotted line around here that shows you that you actually copied it. And then what you want to do is you want to go up here and you want to paste. Now, if all I did was just paste control C, control V, this is not gonna work because uh, it's going to paste over the formulas. We only want the data. We do not wanna paste formulas. So what you would do is you'll click on this top one, right click, paste special, paste values only. There is an option to paste values only in Excel. There is a shortcut in Google Sheets. There's not one Excel, which is slightly annoying if you're using Excel. On um, Control Sheets, you can use the Shift Control V to paste values only, or you can just right click, paste special, paste values only. And that should do it. If I double click right here, you will see that um, it only contains data. I didn't copy over any formulas or anything. And all of my blanks are now included. So that's the good news. All right. And then the last step we have to do is we need to delete our um, helper column and we need to delete um, the column that contains the formula. So all you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to say delete column. And then we're going to go over here, right click and delete column and you're done you have successfully gotten all of your bids that should have been there that amazon deleted and now you are ready to go through your bulk file and adjust bids or do any of the other processes you need to in the sponsored products bulk file